Greetings and well met. I'm the adventurer and this is the Minecraft Adventure Saga. In this episode I'm going to get started on building a small camp within this area right here. We're not going to build anything too big just yet. Uh, one, because I don't have the resources. And then two, uh, I want to explore around a little bit and see if I can't find a location that would provide a little more inspiration. And then also, I really want to visit that uh, village that's over there on the hill. However, we will build a, a place where I can uh, throw down a chest, store some resources, start growing some crops, and then get started raising some animals. However, the sun is quickly setting on our second day, so let's throw down our crafting table and craft ourselves our first bed. Let's see, throw that down. And... Like I was explaining in the on, on day one, I just couldn't demonstrate it, is when we right click, we set a respawn point, so we will now respawn at this bed rather than spawning over at our world spawn area just over that hill. However, if we were to destroy a bed and pick that up, we no longer can, like we won't spawn here anymore, but we will spawn back over there at our at our world spawn. So let's throw that back down. And I also want to mention that on day one I was so preoccupied let's get this let's get these sheep right here I was so preoccupied with looking for resources that were around me that I I honestly didn't even notice any of the resources that are like scattered and littered all throughout the side of this mountain right here there are coal nodes everywhere and then I spotted some iron just right over there and then close to the peak up there is a uh, small block of emerald ore which we will we will definitely get to gathering some of those later on and we have more sheep let's let's go ahead and take care of these guys that way we can start building up some some mutton here but what we're going to get started on is clearing out some of this area uh, so like this little dirt mound right here we're going to knock it back just a little bit so we can open this area up and then uh, we have a bit of a flower problem, so we will have to we'll have to take care of some of these flowers as well, uh, and then probably fill in some of these holes that we have right here. Oh, however, that is not a hole, but um, we'll we'll definitely fill this one in and maybe knock this back right here just a little bit. Uh, however, to get started, we need to craft ourselves a couple furnaces. Let's see, let's throw this in there. And that way we can start smelting our raw iron. So let's half our coal there. And then start cooking some of this mutton that we have. Throw that in there. And then we will, one last time because I couldn't sprint. One last time we're going to top our hunger gauge off with this rotten flesh. Hopefully start regenerating some, some hearts as well. And then let's, let's craft ourselves a chest. Let's just go ahead and just throw this down right, right there. And then to get started on knocking knocking out some of this dirt, let's let's craft ourselves a stone shovel, and we'll save our iron for an iron pickaxe, and uh, maybe an iron sword as well as hopefully some iron armor. So let's get started with this. So we've taken care of the dirt mound. Now we got to take care of all these flowers, and we can collect our iron ore now, or our iron ingot, I should say. And what we're going to do is, instead of going and smacking at, um, all these flowers individually, so instead of just doing this, which it's not like it would take forever, but it's not as effective as if we were to throw, say, like a bucket of water on them. So we're going to craft two buckets, um, because we're going to need water up here uh, anyways, so that way we can, like, so we'll dig a 4 by 4 spot and have an infinite source of water up here, or like right here, rather than always having to go... Uh, to this uh, river that we're going to go to um, but yeah so we'll fill up our two buckets we'll throw the water in here and then we'll start taking out all of these flowers so I've almost made it to the riverside over here but I just want to take a moment to say how amazing 1.18 looks you have these two mountainsides right here one with like a village on it and then you have this cave system looks like a dripstone yeah dripstone cave system that's right in there with a waterfall in front of it and it just it makes you want to go explore it all. Unfortunately, I've got, I've got a little plan, so I've got to, I've got to get to the water down here and fill up my buckets of water. Let's see. Let's get our buckets out. That way we can clear some flowers, and we have a trident. Let's 
get out of the water. That hurts pretty bad. Let's switch out this. See if we can take him out. Oh, half a heart. And luckily we got him. Did he drop it? Oh, no, that's just his trident right there. Just barely survived that one. We're kind of getting lucky on these half a hearts. But we'll, we'll fill up our, our buckets of water now and make our way back. All right, and we've made it back, and our health bar has fully recovered. We've stopped a few times to collect some more mutton, which we're going to go ahead and throw that back in there. And we're going to throw our water in this corner, and then we'll get our other bucket. Let's just have both of these out. And then we'll throw our other one in this corner. And now, where it's we have an infinite source of water, which we pull from that, these two blocks right here will fill into this block and um, basically restore it back. And we so we have our water down, and now we can just throw this down, let it spread out, uh, knock out all these flowers. We'll recollect it, and then just repeat on all the rest of these flowers. Okay, we've cleared out within the area that we wanna wanna clear out. Now what we're gonna do is get started on building a small little little garden. Let's get this. Actually, we can throw out some of our wooden tools here into this chest. We'll hold on to our wooden hoe. We might actually need to make a stone hoe, but we'll see. And then we're going to, let's see, let's do it right about here for our wheat. Let's throw down our seeds. We have seven. So this is this is farmland, and it does need, it, it needs water, so they'll still grow. It's just, I think it's a, a little bit slower, and what we can do is... We have these bone here, so let's turn that, that bone into bone mill. And we can use that and grow that all the way up. That way we can collect it. We'll have we'll have more seeds. Or well we only got one back there. You can essentially or potentially get back more than one. And we'll go ahead and plant that. But now that we have this these or this one wheat, we can use it to um, basically herd like a sheep, that sheep right there, herd them into a little spot like a little pin, and start breeding them up. I hear a spider. But we'll continue with this. Okay, we've got our pumpkins planted, and we have our wheat that we have down. Now, so we have our carrot, but I don't want to I don't want to throw that away just yet, or plant that just yet as well, because I've seen little bunny rabbits all over the place here, and like right over there. And we want to we want to get them to follow us as well. But first, before we do, and there's a little black bunny rabbit up there. Oh, and another one. They just spawn. They're like rabbits. Okay. But first, we need to get a little pin. And I don't necessarily have the resources. So I think what I'm going to do... Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is use, use these dirt blocks. Just like as a, a placeholder, pretty much. That way, we'll go about too high make it fairly big so we can get rabbits rabbits and sheep in here uh, let's take that away because I've got I'm gonna keep in mind that uh, I'm gonna be building a wall around all this as well so I'll be able to jump over that wall and probably just hop in here but I also have a fence border or uh, yeah a fence oh, another sheep uh, I might save you actually yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put you You'll be the first in the little nice cozy dirt <laughs> dirt wall. Let's see, let's throw this down. And we'll have a, a little fence gate right here that will allow us to go in and out a little more easily. Might have two. Let's have two. It's easier to herd them in and out that way. Okay, we've got our fence gates up right here. And let's pull out our wheat. And just like that, let's get our sheep over here and we can... We can throw them in here. All right, and there's the start of our... Let's go ahead and switch this out so he doesn't try to follow us. Start of our farm, and I, I actually... I have a little bit of bone meal left. That way we can actually breed them. Let's... Let's grow up one more. There we go. Got another seed. Oh, we got two more seeds that time. Okay, so we're going to start another another row of wheat down that way, and then we have our pumpkins right there, which the pumpkins, the pumpkins won't grow up in this plot right here. They'll grow to either side of itself, and then this pumpkin will have to grow right there. But let's see if we can go find some more sheep and potentially some rabbits. 
Oh, right. I ended up having to sleep through the night again because I just couldn't find any rabbits. But I, I finally managed to find some. And uh, I don't know what you would call a group of rabbits or a gathering of rabbits. So, like, for sheep, it would be a flock. Or cows, it would be a herd. Like, what what do you call a gathering of ra like a group of rabbits? If you know, please let me know in the, in the comments. Uh, hit me with some knowledge. But... For now, I'm just going to call it a pack of rabbits. I've got myself a pack of rabbits. And they're adorable and they love me. And I'm actually thinking that uh, I don't want to put them in the same pen as the sheep here. So I'm going to... I say pen. It's just a placeholder. It is not the pen that I'm going to have them in. But I'm going to have... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. Okay, they don't love me. They don't love me. They just love me for my carrot. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come on. The little tiny ones are quick, too. Okay, uh, take that back. Uh, we're just going to throw them. So this is going to this is gonna be the rabbit. Oh, wait a second. I think these little the little baby bunnies can escape from underneath here. Well, we're, we're going to bring them in here anyways. Come on, bunnies. Let's go. Okay. And... What I'm going to do is... I'm going to block you guys off. You guys can't come out. That's right. Ha-ha. Try to run away. You can't. Okay, I'm going to grow some more carrots now. And then... I'm going to... Uh, I can't take this. Here we go. There we go. And nothing can go up over that. And what we're going to do is... We need to throw some torches up around here because we want to light this up a little bit before we put the wall up. Then we'll go out and gather some resources and see what we can find. Okay, actually, the, the smart thing to do before we go out is we have our iron. So we're going to craft one iron sword and an iron pickaxe. That way, when we come across some emeralds or I doubt we'll come across any diamonds, unfortunately, because we're not going to be going caving just yet. But And they don't, they don't. So diamonds, they're usually fairly deep and they they aren't like on the surfaces of these mountains or anything but let's also see if we can craft one thing of armor we'll do that and then we'll go gather resources that way we're safe and prepared and we also want to plant our carrot here that way while we're gone it will be growing and we also want to plant some of these trees too that while we're while we're gone that way uh they'll have time to grow so let's 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 plant these around the perimeter, either outside or some maybe some within. So we'll have one like right now. That might get in the way. But yeah, we'll get with the, we'll get these planted planted around, and then we'll make our way out. And so something to look out for when you're in some of these um, snow zones, like so, like on the on the in this grove, um, is powdered snow. So you won't take suffocation damage when you're in it. However. We just got very lucky. I thought I was done for. <laughs> okay. So, however, you um, you do get that freezing effect, as you saw. So, we're going to dig our way out now. But uh, if you have leather boots, you can actually walk on it. And also, if you're in an area where you can't really tell whether it's uh, powdered snow or not, then if there are goats around, goats will actively um, avoid it. And so, they'll jump over it. Let's see if we can dig ourselves out now. Uh, we need to collect. There we go. Perfect. And are we near that iron that's right there? Don't believe. Yes, we are. Haha. -ha. It worked out. That was all my plan. I'm, I'm. I totally meant to do that. So we're gonna gather this, and we're not really gonna go caving just yet. I'm primarily just looking for this stuff that's on the surface, and then I'm wanting to gather quite a bit of cobblestone. That way, I can start building my my cobblestone fence that's over there. Oh, and we have two emeralds. We have one right there and one right here. All right. Some coal. And I, I didn't go over it, but you can collect powdered snow. I believe that's powdered snow. I have a hard time telling. Uh, yeah, I think that, that right there is definitely powdered snow. But you can collect it using a bucket. And unfortunately, the sun is going down, and I didn't bring a bed. Do I have any wool on me? I do. We'll have to craft a crafting table, and then we'll build a bed. That way we could sleep through the night. Okay, so we just crafted a little uh, light gray bed right here. And let's pick this back up. And we're going to gather those emeralds now. But what's Im what's important, what's really important about these emeralds is we can use these um, when we go to this village over here. If I can get up this little cliff right here. 
go over to this village. Let's see if we can actually get a better look at it as well. All right, yeah, we can go to that village that's just right over there. And hopefully, if there's like a blacksmith, um, we can get some trades in and maybe see what he's got ne um, for his other other tiers, I guess. Or maybe some enchanters, if if we're lucky. But that's that's the hope. If there's an armor smith, it would be an easy way to get some armor early on without having to use some of our iron. Although, oh, and there's another block of emerald right here. And some iron. Speaking of iron, so let's go ahead and gather that as well. All right. And then let's get some. Let's get this coal and this iron. Um, although I've noticed that iron is fairly prevalent. Um, <laughs> So we we actually may not have to worry about buying any kind of armor armor pieces iron armor pieces at least that is, um, unless unless it it's just to open up some more tiers in the traders, or within the traders. And we've made it to the top, and it's it's a huge and vast world, and look, it's amazing. Like it is it's. 1.18 is so beautiful and it looks like we've got a shattered portal right down there another village right there and another one just off that way looks like there's a maybe an ocean back that way but man it just it, it's it's so exciting and uh makes you want to go and explore just everything and we're gonna try to make our way to this emerald block here see if we can do it oh yeah we got it we got it without without falling I really don't after that incident down there I don't trust any of this but yeah you can you can actually see the difference between the powdered snow and just the, the regular snow blocks itself um, yeah let's go ahead and collect this it looks like we've got uh, one of our 4x4 four four spruce trees grew up into it it's a, so it's a mega spruce tree or a giant spruce tree and that's podsol that blankets the bottom of them which podsol usually it it's in mega taigas and uh, bamboo jungles, I think, actually, as well. But let's let's get to collecting this. Whoops. No, we don't want to use. We want to use our. There we go. Our iron pickaxe, not our. Let's see if we can get get back here and knock this stuff out. Almost used our stone pickaxe though. And it's it's starting to get to be night again. But I see that white rabbit right there, and I really want to take it down there with my other rabbits. So I'm going to. I'm gonna try to sleep. Let's see if we can do it. Let's throw that there. I hope I don't fall off the cliff or something whenever I spawn back up, because I don't think it spawns you. Yeah, so it didn't spawn me right on top of my bed. Here we go. Okay, no problem though. And see, is the rabbit still there? I don't have my carrot on me. Oh wait a second. I think I might have gotten lucky, because I think dandelions. I think that they'll still. Come on, I want to add you to my pack. I think they'll still come to you. Yes, yes, all right. So dandelions, they'll also, you can use these to feed them. And I think this is a good time to go down. Oh no, where'd you go, buddy? Come back. All right. And it's it's actually getting co close to Easter as well. So this is perfect, perfect. All right, let's go, Peter. I don't want to, I wonder if you take fall damage. I don't think you do. So let's. Make our way down. No, you do! No, Peter! No! Oh, no. Oh, this is... That is terrible. Oh, Peter. Okay, now I gotta go find another white rabbit. Okay, I haven't found another another rabbit yet, but if you're playing alongside me in the same world, I did find another block of emerald right here on this side of the mountain alongside some iron ore that we can... I believe use both for villager trades although when you collect this uh, <laughs> when you collect this emerald just be careful because there's gravel oh and so this gravel will probably fall too once that gravel starts to fall so let's lay a torch down right here that way when it does fall it'll just all break apart and let's gather this emerald and see what happens there we go. See, just like that. And that torch will break all those blocks since it's in this, this block space. And those didn't fall, but I kind of want to... Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's not use our pickaxe. Let's go ahead and make those fall. There we go. And we have a little ledge to stand on. Perfect. And there's another emerald. And some more gravel above it. Okay. 
Let's deal with that as well. And I see another block. All right, we found another one. I gotta be very careful though. Be very quiet. No, we don't have to be quiet because we have our dandelion out. However, I don't want them to fall into the powdered snow. And then I myself don't want to fall. I think we're safe right here. But I know that's for sure powdered snow. And I don't want him to take fall damage. Looks like it's a little baby one. Come on over here. I know you see me. I'm being, <laughs> I'm being careful myself. Okay, I think all this is snow blocks. I think I'm safe. Okay, let's make our way over to... All right. We gotcha. And it's a... Uh, looks like you're a baby one. Okay, let's safely make our way down. I don't like any of these drops. It looks like it's... You follow me, buddy? Okay, you are going to be... You're going to be Peter as well. We're not going to call you two Peter or anything like that. Let's... Okay, I think... Whoa, careful there. Let me... No! No! Not again! No! Okay, we're not naming the next one Peter. We're not doing it. No! How did you... Okay. Alright, we, we can do this. Okay, it hadn't been long since the last one. Oh, we got a couple. You guys are killing yourselves. Okay, I don't know if I want these white rabbits now because they're, they're not very bright. Okay, come on this way. I Actually, I do. I want both of you guys. I want you both. And I actually... I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to breed these two so I can have three. What are the odds of all three of them, like, not making it down this mountainside? Come on. You can make it. Okay, we're going to go. We're just going to go down here then. We're going to go down. We're going to go down. Come on. What are you doing? No. You're, okay, they're not the brightest. <laughs> the pathfinding for these rabbits is <laughs> not the group. <laughs> Where are you going? Come on, rabbit. I just want. Okay, right here. Right here. Okay, perfect. Oh, wait. You're just a baby rabbit. Okay, we fed that one. You're big. And you're big. All right. The dandelions work. They are going crazy. You guys are going to die when you're trying to have a, a baby. No. Come back. Wow. It's take. Oh, my. No. 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 I, I can't believe it. You didn't even have a baby yet. Oh, well, we're going to at least collect the leather. No! Uh, I... I can't even with these rabbits right... Where are you going? Oh, there's another rabbit. Okay. Okay. Maybe... I don't know if I want to try to breed these now. They were freaking out. Let's, let's do it. We need three. Oh, no! Oh... Okay, no more breeding. We're just going to try to make this one come back home safe. And I wonder... Ah, I can't take the... I was going to try to make some leather boots because... I don't want to fall into any of this powdered snow that might be around. Okay, you can make it. You can make it. I'm not going to name you. We're going to be okay. Let's go. Oh. Okay. We got this. We got this. Whatever your name... Oh, no. We don't got this. We do not have this. Let's go around this ledge. Uh. Can you make it back up? Can you... No. I think I have a bucket of water on me. I think the safest way would... No, where are you going, little bunny rabbit? I wonder if I could pour a bucket of water and get the... Get the rabbit to go down. That would be dangerous, too. Then it would just fall out of the water and... Okay, I think that, that rabbit might be a goner. Oh, no, he's following me back up. I didn't think he'd be able to pathfind up this mountainside. Okay, we're going to go this way, then. We're going to go this way. We've got this. Nice. We're okay. We are on like the worst side of the mountain. I want to be back on the other side. That way, it's not as steep. And it would be fantastic if we could run into. Where are you going? Why are you going behind the tree? It's the wrong way. Oh. 
And we've got a family of rabbits now. We got a whole family. We got three of them. Let's go, guys. Come on. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Mush. Got a pack now. Oh, no. I'm about to lose my pack. You guys are not the brightest. No, no. Okay, we did. We lost. Did we just lose two of them? Man. Okay, we can make it back. The lone survivor. No. Ah, darn it. Well, we can at least pick up the remains. Have some food, and we'll go ahead and collect this iron. Well, now back to finding more rabbits. So we haven't found rabbits, but we found a family of fox. And so there's one. There's a little baby fox right there, and two more right there. They're super cool. Did he just take fall damage too? No, he did not. I don't think he did. But um, unfortunately, I don't have... I wonder. I don't have a lead. And so I can't can't bring any back with me. I would really love to have some of these fox though. They're so look look how majestic that is. And how adorable that little tiny fox is. <laughs> okay. Oh spider. Let's make sure the spider won't hurt the fox. But it might hurt me. Where is it? It sounds close. Okay, back to looking for rabbits. Okay, we are still looking for another rabbit to take down, but we found the wandering trader with his camels. Hey, and actually, so I said I didn't have a lead for the fox, but sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, llama. I got a lead. All right, and let's get, let's get another one. Let's get another lead. Nice. Now instead of a rabbit, we're just gonna get a fox. Actually, I, I still want a rabbit. Still want a rabbit. What do you have to trade? Pumpkin seeds, cactus. The blue orchid's kind of just because it's kind of cool. Um, uh, nah, we won't get anything. And then another distraction. So, goats. We have goats up here. Um, I kind of want a goat. I'll be honest. I definitely want a goat, and I think I still have the wheat in my inventory. I do. Fantastic. Okay, you guys. Two. That is perfect. I can breed you guys. Please don't. I hear you. I know. I know. Please don't take fall damage on your way down. Mush. Let's go. All right. We got some goats. Wait. Where'd you have? The... Okay. Got to have two. We can start up a goat farm. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go that way. Come on, guys. Let's let's. That might be the best way we got. Or have. Okay, no. No getting crazy and going off to the side. Just follow me exactly. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Knock some of these tree leaves out. Let's go, goats. We are, we are doing, oh no. Oh no! How did you? Well, he he did he did fine. Uh, we're we're gonna follow you. Let's go, buddy. You can make it. You got this. Come on, I don't I don't want to name you because it doesn't work out. Okay, there we go. I think we are in the clear. Yes. Yes. Okay, we got some goats. We will, we will have to come back and we'll have to get a rabbit. I'm still so sad about that. So sad. There were so many rabbits. That's just so many rabbits that we lost up there. But we got goats and it's okay. And something you got to be careful about is just like that. These goats can jump. So if you have them in a fence, um... It might need to be a barn because let me see if I can I'm gonna build this up just a little bit more so I can keep them contained um, just in the meantime it looks kind of bad but we want to make sure our livestock is is safe and these guys are safe okay 
No. Okay, this isn't high enough. That guy just jumped. What is going on? What was that? Okay, I gotta put a roof on this thing is what's gonna have to happen. That was... That was insane. I had no clue they could jump... Jump that high. Oh, I blocked myself in. Come on, guys. Let's come back in. You guys got some mad hops. Okay. We're just gonna have to block you off in the roof so that jumping doesn't 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 let you escape no oh my gosh did he just take fall damage from that that's what it sounded like these guys are insane hey okay yeah just bring yourself back in here buddy love it okay we're gonna have to use use some of our oh wait no we've got plenty of dirt no! I just heard you jump out again. Ah, but you didn't. You couldn't. Haha. -ha. Now you're stuck in here, and we just in case. We went through a little torture. Now you guys have some light. You're all trapped. No, not really. We're gonna build a better home for you, I promise. And before we leave these guys, we're gonna go ahead and Breed, breed them up. There we go. So we can have a little baby goat. And we can't right away, so we can't. There's like a, a cooldown that they can't breed again um, for just a little bit. So we'll have to wait for that. That's why we're going to go ahead and do it now. But that's all the time we have on this for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next adventure.